the Highland Fling is one of the oldest and best known of the Highland dances. Musical accompaniment is provided by the skirl and drone of the bagpipe, an instrument which has roots in ancient Babylon, Persia and Russia. This instrument is played in Ireland, France, Italy, Greece, but it is popularly regarded as Scottish. The Highland Fling has always been a dance of joyful celebration. Some people say the upraised arms represent the antlers of a running stag. Others claim that the dance was originally performed on the limited space of a shield. The traditional kilt dates from before the 7th century as a costume worn exclusively by men. The performance style of the fling was vigorous, but as it was handed down from generation to generation since the 13th century, it tended to become less refined. In 1955, a group of Scottish dance teachers and historians formed the Scottish Official Board of Highland Dancing in order to standardize the steps and improve the technique. Today, boys and girls may enter national and international competitions based on mastery of the exact placement of the arms, erect, distinguished posture, and skillful performance of the steps. There are five positions of the feet. First position, the heels are together, the legs and feet are turned outward. Second position, from the first position, extend the right leg sideward with the toe touching the floor. Return the right to first position, repeat with the left. Return the left to first position. Third position, place the right toe at the instep of the left foot. The right knee is turned outward to the right. Third aerial in front, the right heel is raised to touch the top of the left stocking, just below the left knee. Third aerial in back, slide the right foot around the left leg from front to back. This movement around the leg is called shedding. Fourth position, Extend the right leg directly forward with the toe touching the floor. Forty-five degrees to the right is called fourth intermediate. Now lift the right leg to the levels of the ankle. Aerial low, the calf, aerial normal, then the knee, aerial high. Close to first position. Now repeat with the left leg. Fourth position in front, fourth intermediate, area low, normal, high. Close to first position. Fifth position. Place the right toe in front of and touching the left toe. Keep the knees turned outward. 
Now place the right toe behind the left heel. Close the right to first position. Repeat with the left foot, fifth position in front, in back, close in first. Now we will all face in the same direction so that the demonstrator's right foot is on the same side as yours for a view of the positions for the feet. Second position, close in first. Third with the right, third aerial in front, in back, close in first. Third with the left, third aerial in front, in back, close in first. Fourth position forward with the right, fourth intermediate, Aerial low, normal, high, close in first. Now the same with the left. Fourth position forward, intermediate aerial low, normal, high, close in first. Fifth position with the right in front, in back, close in first. Fifth position, left in front, in back, Close in first. There are five positions for the arms. First position. The knuckles are placed on the waist. The arms are akimbo. In second position right, the left arm is raised. The hand is above the head. The head is turned to the right at a 45 degree angle. In second position left, the right arm is raised, hand above the head. In third position, both arms are raised with hands above the head. In fourth position, the hands close in, not quite touching. In fifth position, the arms are lowered in front of the body. Notice the fingers. The thumb is placed on the middle finger. And for expression, we say a toast. We will learn six steps of the Highland Fling. Each step will be demonstrated first, then repeated so that you may try to dance it. Now watch the first step. Shedding. Arms in second position. Point to second with the right. Third aerial in back, in front, again in back. Change and point to second with the left. Third aerial in back, in front, in back. Repeat with the right. Second, third aerial in back, in front, in back. Point second with the left. Move arms to first position and execute a full turn to the right while shedding in back, in front, in back. And up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The second step is called back stepping. Point second with the right. Third aerial in back. Second to the right. Third aerial in front. Change arms to third position. Shed to the back and change to the other foot. Shed to the back and change. Repeat back stepping with the left foot. Point second with the left, third aerial in back, second with the left, third aerial in front, shed to back. The step is performed four times, alternating right, left, right, left. And up, 
second and back, second and front, back, two, three, four, second and back, second and front, back, two, three, four, second and back, second and front, back, two, three, four, second and back, second and front, back, two, three, four. The third step is called toe heel. Point in second position with the right. The left arm is raised, shed in back, in front and back. Place hands on hips and spring onto the right foot, placing the left toe in third position in front. Hop on the right foot, placing the left heel in fifth position in front. Repeat toe heel with the right, toe heel with the left, and one basic shedding step turning to the right on the right foot. Repeat step with the left. And up. Second and back, in front and back. Change toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, Toe, heel, turn, two, three, four. Second and back, in front and back. Change toe, heel, toe, heel. Toe, heel, toe, heel, turn, two, three, four. The fourth step is called rocking. Point second with the right, third aerial and back. Point right foot in third position and shake in the fourth intermediate aerial high. Drop onto the right foot. Left foot is in fifth position in back. Spring onto the left foot with the right foot in third in front. The arms are in second position at the beginning and in third position while rocking. Now try this step, alternating right, left, right, left. And up. Right and back, point third and shake, rock, two, three, four. Left and back, point third and shake, rock, two, three, four. Right and back, point third and shake, rock, two, three, four. Left and back, point third and shake, rock, two, three, four. The fifth step is called crossover step. Start basic shedding. Point second, third aerial in back, spring to third aerial in back on the other foot, point in third, watch again on alternate sides. Now try it, and up, second and back, in front and back, second, back, cross over and down, second and back, in front and back, second, back, cross over and down, second and back, in front and back, second, back, cross over and down, second and back, in front and back, second, back, cross over and down. The last step consists of three basic shedding steps with the right, a full turn to the right while shedding with the left, two basic shedding steps with the left, two full turns to the left while shedding with the right, step to the right and close the left in first position. This dance can now be studied at your leisure since it is described and notated in your books. Now watch the entire dance. 